Which anime should I add to my reaction schedule? Click the link in the description to vote in the straw poll today. What's quaking people? Count Richard Quake here, coming at you with my reaction to Season 1, Episode 4 of Jujutsu Kaisen. So if you want to support the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more otaku and nerd culture content. So last time, we met Nobara. Uh, Nobara and Yuji went and fought off a curse. Nobara showed out. It was basically her little test initiation. Gojo was satisfied, and uh, we learned a little bit about Nobara's backstory. Uh, she came from a small town in the country. She had this sort of, I guess, mentor or friend that she looked up to who was kind of uh, shunned an outcast from their village for being from the city. So basically the only reason she's even going to Jujutsu High School is because she wants to live in Tokyo. That's pretty much it. The end of the episode showed some crazy preview of like a fetus in the sky and there were some typed reports saying that three freshmen from Jujutsu High School, which we know who they are, were sent and one died. Uh, hello? What? Anyway, um, I need to know what's going on so let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into this episode. Oh, that's very convenient. Oh, but they said in last episode someone dies. <laughs> Tadashi? Yamaguchi's here? There we go. There we go. Demon dogs. I like how he does the live long and prosper Vulcan hand sign. Did you do that? I told you guys I'm a nerd. You didn't believe me. <laughs> oh my god that guy's eating in in half that's that's terrible tadashi Okay, he accidentally hit a little girl. He was driving without a license. That driving without a license is the malicious thing here. So it wasn't like he was like maliciously going after the little girl. I don't know, man. He was still a person. Whoa! No, what? Oh, that's creepy. Use your special curse cleaver. Dude, special grade. There's no way that's going to be in What just happened? Did he just lose a hand? Uh oh, he's letting Skuna out. Oh, 
Dude, this is so creepy. I don't even know what to say. Oh, man. Oh, no. The white one's dead. I don't like that the white one's dead. This is insane! Dude. Dude, he's full on missing a hand right now. Dude, he is shook right now. Dude. Dude, he's missing fingers too. This episode is stressful, man. Oh my god, he's missing fingers. He's missing a whole hand. Oh my god, he's breaking down, man. doing what just happened demon dog demon dog that's a signal he can let schooner out that's a signal here we go the tables are turning now Is that curse scared of Schooner right now? Schooner just grew his fingers back. So he's gonna get his hand back too? Wow. Yep, there it is. Oh. Dude, this is a special grade curse. Holy crap. Grade one or higher? If grade one is not the top of the scale, is would that not then be the bottom of the scale? I don't understand the scale. Why is grade one good but not the highest? Uh oh. Exposition dumpy, but okay. Hey, other curse, did you know this thing about curses? 
I'm going to explain it to you out loud just in case someone's listening. Domain expansion. Ma what is this? Malevolent shrine? Ho! Oh! Ho! Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it's his finger. Of course it's his finger, so that's why he was a uh, special grade. Uh, Yuji? Um, what's going on? All right. That was bonkers, man. That was crazy. I felt like I was just dumbfounded most of that episode. I was dead certain that Yuji lost a hand, like straight up just lost a hand, but I guess curses can heal themselves, so. And um, whatever happened to one of the first years dying? Isn't that what the report said? Well, I guess, you know, it's not over, I guess. But what's up with the end there? Why isn't Yuji switching back? Something's up, but you know what? The saddest part of that episode is the dog. The white demon dog died. And when he summoned the demon dogs after that, the white one wasn't there. So it's dead dead. That's sad, man. Don't hurt the doggies. Anyway, and for a second there, it looked like Yuji was actually summoning some sort of cursed power of his own in his fist. What was that? That was kind of crazy. I mean, it didn't do much. It was stopped really easily, but still. I think that's the first time we see him using just cursed power besides calling out Skuna. Anyway, so if you guys like my reaction, like, comment, subscribe if you feel so inclined. Follow me on all the social medias. The links are down in the description below. Join my new Discord server. Come hang out and chat with us. That link's in the description below as well. Next episode will go up next Monday. So keep your eyes open for that. Until then, guys, I've been Coward Quake, and I hope you have a seismic day.